Okay, the pretty quick uh, tr uh, trim the vase. And uh, you can see that that's, there's lots of uh, clay trim up from the pot. I don't know how you uh, do with it. Uh, normally, if you are rich, you could probably throw it away, but uh, I always recommend you to recycle your clay. And uh, for me, I usually uh, put the uh, stuff, the trim off, put it in the bucket uh, until it's it's full, almost full, and I can dump it in a larger bucket and then keep it there for a couple of days and then I scoop it out and uh, put it on the plaster to dry it. And what if you are working at the studio that not it's not belong to you, what do you do with it? Okay, and here I'm going to show you uh, the way if you are working at a studio, you don't have your own bucket to store the, your clay, what do you do with it? Uh, you might want to find the, uh, uh, the clay back that uh, it's sturdy enough and, um, without uh, having any uh, a hole in the back, plastic bag. So you want to check it, see if that is very tight. And this one is pretty good. So you can just put in Put all the uh, trim stuff in your in your bag, and then uh, put some water in there. Okay, so let me do that. Okay, so the clay is in the bag. Um, usually you could uh, accumulate more of the uh, clay that uh, trim up and uh, maybe half of the bag and then you pour water in so that you don't uh, recycle just a small amount. Uh, my recommendation is that uh, if you have uh, the clay that is holding the, the part to trim, this might be a little bit too stiff. So if you put it in there, it's harder for the water to break down. So you, if you wanted to, you can just, you know, uh, kind of uh, make it into a smaller pieces and put it in there. Otherwise, I would just uh, soak it in the water. This holy clay, it's uh, easy to get it soaked by soaking it in the water and then uh, you can just pinch on your hand and it will be soft again. And for this stuff, we just pour water in there and then uh, for uh, overnight or maybe a couple of days, uh, let the uh, water to, uh, let the clay to completely soak into uh, soak the water in and then you can put it out on the uh, plaster. So I will show you the process after uh, uh, I accumulate enough and then uh, also I want to show you how I put the uh, uh, clay on the plaster and um, how I recycle it after that. So in here I told you that I collect the uh, Clay the, the trim off and put it in the bucket that I that with the uh, throwing water and try to fill it in. If you have your own studio, you can do that. Until it's uh, it's almost full. And if you don't have your own studio, you uh, can share it with the people. Uh, find a, a good bag and then a nice sturdy bag without uh, any hole in it and uh, collect all the, uh, the clay that has been uh, trimmed off. And then um, maybe half of the bag and you can pour in the water. They put water in and that is soak for a couple days. And uh, maybe uh, kind of a uh, after you soak in the water and then kind of wet it on the outside so that the uh, clay is getting uh, uh, mixing with the water more thoroughly. Um, after that, I will pour in my uh, bucket of uh, clay into a larger uh, bucket. Okay, let me show you how I do it. So in here, I have uh, two buckets, one for collecting, um, one for collecting the uh, clay. I just dump it in and uh, let it sit for uh, maybe overnight. 
And uh, if you have uh, extra water coming out, you can actually use a sponge like here. Use a sponge to absorb the water. Take out the water, okay? So that's how, how, you, how I do it. Okay, you can do it uh, uh, later. So I'm just showing you uh, how I do it. And then um, if you have a lot of uh, clay, you can just pull, put it in here. And after you take out the water, let's say that it's, you want to stir it, okay? Stir it nicely. Because uh, this is all the uh, trim clay, so it's easy for you to mix them very well. And let it sit for uh, a day or two, and then remove all the water. And I will scoop out the, the thicker slip into another bucket here, like here. I already have one here. So this is a thicker clay in here. And uh, now I'm ready to uh, scoop it out, scoop it out. Uh, if you want to mix it better, you can have, uh, uh, let me show you. So you can use this blender to kind of blend it in. You want to hook it in, in the uh, drill and then uh, beat it up so your clay is mixing much better. And if you don't have the uh, pot meal, you can do that. Okay so that your clay will be much easier without any chunk inside it. So that's the uh, something that you might want to consider. And now I'm ready to scoop out the, the clay. And here is the uh, plaster that I showed you in my previous video. I, I uh, throw it on a larger bed and then pour plaster in. Now these two pieces are ready for, to work for me. And I've been using it already. And, once it's getting soaked with a lot of uh, water, it's getting wet. You take it outside and put it under the sun. You can dry it in one day or two and then you can reuse it. Okay, so now let me scoop uh, the slip. And there's a little uh, little dent in here so that the water you pour in your slip is not going out anywhere. It's all staying on the inside. Okay, so I will let it sit for uh, maybe uh, two days, okay, depending on the weather. Summertime, maybe a day and a half, two, winter time, maybe two days, three days, and then I will show you how I uh, pick it up and then wedge it. Okay, so. This is very uh, useful plaster that to uh, pour in your recycled clay and let it dry that way. So here I already uh, poured in some water so the uh, clay it's easy to absorb water and uh, that is the way for doing this method is that you can wet the clay right here and mix them very well. That's the uh, look inside, and uh, you can leave it for overnight, couple of days, so that the, the uh, water and the clay mix them well. So this method is also very good that you don't have a larger bucket that your clay stay in there for a long time. It get uh, black and uh, stinky, and this way it is not going to be uh, stinky. So. This is another way you might want to consider if you uh, share the uh, studio with other people and don't have your own bucket sitting around.
Hi, so after two days of uh, drying, uh, you can see the clay, the recycled clay, it's been uh, peeled, kind of peeled off from my plaster bed and uh, it's ready to remove from there. I can put it on my uh, wedging table. I'm still a little bit wet, so uh, you could uh, kind of uh, spread it around and let the uh, table absorb in a little bit more water. Okay, like that. And then uh, later on, you could wet your clay easier on the uh, plaster table. Okay. And now it's still wet, so I will show you when it's ready to wet. Okay, we're ready to wet. But you can see that the dark spot is still inside. But outside, once see that's in the air, the dark part of uh, the clay goes away. But the, when you wet it, you can see, you can still see the uh, the grayish color coming out from the center, the middle of the clay. So I will let it sit here for a couple more hours, maybe. And this, it's portable, so it's easier. I can just take it out and put it under the sun and let it dry for a couple of days. And then you can use that for recycling clay again. And I'm here, I want to show you the clay that I told you, if you uh, share with the people in the studio on um, how you recycle, of course you need to have a plaster, I call this clay, plaster bed, okay, the larger area, larger one, and uh, you just pour it out from the bag. This has been sitting for two days. Hey, two days and uh, all you need to do is just pour out okay. and kind of uh, spread it around that plaster bed. Sturdy clay bag. Yeah, this is a clay bag on the uh, clay from uh, Clay Planet. Okay, Clay Planet. This bag is very good. And uh, just uh, get you all your trim stuff and put it in there. After you accumulate enough, pour in water and then uh, mix it very well. You can just build up uh, from the outside of the bag, and uh, so the clay will uh, mix better. And then uh, let it. Put it on the uh, plaster bed and let it dry for a couple days. Um, that uh, you will be able to recycle your clay. Let me put this aside. So after two days of drying, um, see that the clay. This is almost like 15 pound of a clay. And uh, you could uh, just watch on the uh, plaster table. Still wet, so I would I would do it uh, a bit uh, wait a little bit late, a uh, couple more hours, and then I come back and wet it. And uh, you can take it after you wet it. You can take it right to the wheel and throw. Okay, I will do that. I will show you how to do that. Right. Okay, a uh, couple hours later, I'm coming back to wedge this clay that uh, I spread it out on my wedging table. And now I think it's ready for me to wedge it.
All right. So, spiral wedge. Okay. Spinning clockwise. Being on practice this way. Okay, on. Let me show you spinning counterclockwise, my usual way with my clay. Okay, and I think the clay is very good. After I finish wedging, I should be able to throw it on the wheel. Okay. Okay, like all together in one piece. That's the uh, clay that's been recycled. Scoop out and put it on the uh, plastic bag. Let it dry for two days and then uh, try to further spray it out on my wedging table. If you don't have a wedging table like this, you share in the studio or you can put it on the plaster here, something like that. Let it dry further. And then uh, wedge it. And so that's the clay that you could use it. So let me throw a little bit and see how it goes. I can put the rest of it in my bucket. Okay, so let's test it. See how it goes, uh, recycle clay. So it feels like my usual clay, not much difference. You can throw easily and uh, stretch out easily. See that I've been stretched out without any problem. Okay, I intentionally uh, stretch it out wider All right so not a problem So just do a little test and uh, it throws good, just as normal, just as normal as my regular clay. Okay, and that's the uh, thickness without any trouble. So the recycled clay. And uh, to save you some money. Alright, so hope this demonstration helped and uh, see you next time.